Ann White here, talking about love. And who doesn't want more love? Mm, it's, what do they say? Love makes the world go round. Love makes our life go round. Love gets us out of bed in the morning. And speaking of that, who do you sleep with? Who do you wake up with? Who do you shower with? I'm not asking the personal stuff because really, it's right here. I wake up with me. I get out of bed and I am. I'm in the shower and it's you-know-who. We are with us everywhere we go. So in that one song of maybe my generation, it was love the one you're with. That's right here. This is us. And wherever we go, we take ourselves. So wherever we go, if we could make a, a circle of love or radiate love, we've got it. We've got it. And that's part of the second week is finding the things we love about ourselves and magnifying them. Right now, one good word about yourself. Tell me something awesome about you. One, tell me something else. Take some time and write down 10 awesome, wonderful things about who you are. I bet sometimes it's easier to write the other list, the things we don't like about ourselves. But it's important to focus on the things we do and then to put more focus and more uh, magnify. We're going to magnify those things we love about ourselves. One, another way we can do this, you make your list of 10, that's always good. And each day, some people keep the gratitude journals. Also, when you keep your gratitude, write one thing you love about yourself that day. What one awesome thing you did or what awesome thing you were. Put it down in your gratitude journals. <clears throat> Get my Alice in Wonderland had had our teacup because sometimes we're all crazy here okay another way to do this is or another part of it is think of something in your life that you are successful at accomplishing it could be anything but think of a time where you just felt ah, I got it what skills what part of you helped you to have that success write it down and think about and think how you felt when you had that sense of accomplishment. We want to be there more often. So think of your accomplishment, how you felt, and what part of you achieved that success. It might be a list of things. I was organized. I worked as a team. I brought good people together. It might be I followed instructions. You know, if you're baking a cake or something, whatever. What things about you created that success? Another thing to do is write a love note to yourself. Dear self, I think you're really snazzy. I love the way you did this. And I love how you handled that. And I love when you, you know, write a love note. Or maybe like a want ad to the universe. You know, why, why you are a valid and vibrant person of the universe. Dear universe, did you know that when I wake up in the morning I'm happy? And did you know that I rescue dogs? And did you know that I try you know, just something to toot your own horn. Because in this life, and I know if you're watching this, you're, you're similar to me, we give to others. We honor others. We uplift others. We support others. But if we don't do that to ourselves, we're not providing the self-care we need. We're not recharging our battery in order to do those things that we love. So the want add the love letter. This next part, these three things are these... I think three things that I've told you are things you can do right now. The next part works great in this group that we create. And if you can join me, you'll see how it just pops. Uh, if you are unable to join me, do it with a group of friends. But here's what we do is we support each other then. And each week we tell the other person what we really love about them, what we admire about them. And it's called a circle of compassion. We put the person in the circle and we all share their strengths, the wonderful things about them. And sometimes at first it's like, oh, no, no, that's not me. And when we learn how then, not only to give, but the harder part is to receive. How to receive love, how to receive compliments. Because probably, like me, we're good at giving them. Sometimes it's a challenge to just say thank you. Thank you, I'll own that. I'll own that about me.
So these are the things I'd like you to consider when you start bringing that love back into yourself. Treat yourself like you would treat your very best friend. Treat yourself like you would treat somebody that you'd like to get to know, maybe somebody you're courting. Uh, that's how you should treat yourself. Bring yourself flowers. Honor yourself every day. Give yourself the gratitude of what you did today that just made you a star. And, you know, sometimes it's as simple as or as low as, hey, I got through the day. Okay, but tomorrow's going to be a better day and I'm going to shine. So it's important that we keep our love energy going because we can't be anything to anybody until we love ourselves. And it's not selfish to do that. It's charging our own battery. It's renewing it. It's energizing it. So as we go through magnifying our magnificent self, loving ourself, and shining our loving magnificence back toward us is one of the key ways that we're going to achieve our goals, which is the next video. See you then.